Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the gift of marriage. They say rain is good luck on your wedding day. So what kind of omen is a tornado? Kendra Frederick and Caleb Pence perform in the rodeo. So when he asked her for her hand in marriage, an outdoor wedding on a farm in his native Kansas seemed only fitting. The big day comes, May 19, 2012. Storms are in the forecast, including a chance of tornadoes. It wasn't supposed to hit until midnight, and it, it rolled in being Kansas. You never really can tell. Um, it rolled in a lot sooner than we thought. And thus, the two become one. Let's bow together in prayer. Caleb notices that the weather is looking ominous. Well, my uncle, who was marrying us, he said, let's get it going because the rain was coming in. Me and my dad, of course, walked down the aisle and didn't notice anything going on with the weather. We just went on with it, and I did not notice anything in the background at all. But a gathering storm is right behind them, a tornado which was rated EF3. Still, the wedding proceeds as planned. If I would have known there was a tornado there before this started, I probably would not have walked down the aisle. I probably would have took shelter and postponed the wedding. <laughs> Being from Kansas, Caleb's side of the family is calm. The twister is far away and not moving in their direction. Plus, Caleb has other things on his mind. I was getting married. I wasn't really thinking about tornadoes. I really didn't care. I mean, it was very nerve-wracking for me to get married, so it, it just didn't really matter. During the ceremony, Caleb leans over and whispers to the future Mrs. Pence. I was like, hey, Kendra, there's tornadoes forming up on, by, by Harper. And she leaned over and said, I don't want to hear about it. I was like, that's not true. And I honestly just told him, I was like, no, that's not true. <laughs> we just, like, I just told him, like, just be quiet. There's no, there's not a tornado. The ceremony continues with the guests from the bride side of the family getting increasingly concerned. People came up to me afterwards, like, we need to take shelter. So, I mean, it was, it was scary thinking that was possible. The tornado, with winds estimated at 138 to 167 miles per hour, does its share of destruction, taking out a farmstead and some wind turbines near Harper, Kansas, some 10 miles to the northwest. But it stays far away, just as the Kansas relatives had predicted. We were on the back side of the storm. So, I mean, really, the only way the tornado could have reversed it is the whole storm, the whole entire storm cell would have shifted. And the chances of that happening is just... Yeah, it's not going to happen. While the couple honeymoons, the video goes viral. Something that mystifies them to this day. I can see why they think, you know, we're almost crazy for just taking pictures with this thing. But but then again, it's, it's where we're from. So, I mean, that's what we deal with. I wouldn't recommend anybody to stand out there like we did unless you are smart enough to figure out where the storm's going, how to read the storm. Um, if you're not used to storms, don't do that. Having one's wedding become an internet sensation has its pros and cons. But the Pences choose to look at the bright side. When I watch that video, I get goosebumps. Like, honestly, because, I mean, that's a big tornado for what I've ever seen. Some feel that the Pences were daredevils.